Hi guys, welcome to my page. I am really new to this, but I'm really excited. I want to invite you guys to come on this journey with me. So we're going to kind of be traveling back in time, but everything that we're going to read about, talk about, we can apply to our lives. So I want to invite you to come on a year long journey with me to read the word. And let me just tell you how I kind of got this idea to vlog, I guess, about me reading the Bible. <laughs> so my best friend since kindergarten texted me and told me that she was buying this book off Amazon and she thought that I might like it. So she sent me the link. I looked at it and I thought that it looked really cool. So I bought it. It has now sat in my house for two weeks and we were trying to figure out when we were going to start because we want to do it together. But we're also both teachers. So we're trying to just kind of figure it out. Um, so we decided that we would start um, tomorrow. And for the last two weeks, I have just had this kind of this push to invite other people into this with us. And so I told one of my friends about it and she was like, that sounds cool. Um, but there was no like set, like we're going to do a small group or anything like that. So it just kind of was what it was. No big deal. We we're just like hanging out, talking about it. I told my mom about it and she really wanted a book so I bought her one and she's like I might get behind she has a really crazy work schedule things like that and I was like honestly to me it's not about us reading like the same exact thing at the same exact time every single day it's just not about that for me I just wanted us to like commit to each other that we were going to be reading the word and that we could talk about it and ask each other questions about what we're reading and what the Lord's teaching us and she was all for it so that's great and I just felt like there was more like I was supposed to do more it just wasn't enough so I just kept praying and I feel like the Lord has been telling me for a while that I needed to be more vocal and share more about my life and what he's teaching me through all this crazy mess and stuff like that and I just never did it I've thought about doing a podcast I've thought about doing a blog I've thought about vlogging I went to do a, a podcast and felt weird and just didn't really like it so not that this is any better because I feel like I'm just talking to myself but we're here um so I decided that I was going to blog because I love writing, but for this specific, specifically, okay, um, I wanted to do a vlog. I wanted there to be like a face to the name and actually talk about what the Lord is teaching me. So I'm going to be using this book to help go through the word in a year, and it also has some really interesting and thought-provoking questions um by no means is this like an ad or anything like that you do not have to buy this book I just want anybody that wants to to have access to someone else who is hungry for the Lord and what he wants to do in our life um and I just want to be obedient to what he's asked me to do he in no way asked me to try to sell this book uh, this is just what got me to feeling like I should do this was this book came in and I just felt like I wasn't supposed to keep it to myself. Um, if you want to, it's $10 on Amazon. I can put a link in the description, I guess. Um, but if you just want to download the Bible app on your phone or if you have a Bible at your house and you just want to read the same scripture that I'm reading and then... Come and listen to what the Lord's teaching me and tell me what the Lord's teaching you. That is honestly 10 times better 
in my opinion, than you going and ordering this book and then it like just being a book you ordered. Um, so I'm going to leave that up to you. I'm never going to ask anybody if they bought the book. Um, and I like don't know probably anybody that's going to watch this video. So we're just here. Um, so my plan is that every Sunday I'll post a video about what I read that week and what I feel like the Lord's teaching me. So for this coming week from tomorrow, Monday, um, until Sunday, um, we're going to be reading Genesis. We're starting at the beginning, which I thought I, we were just going to like read it from cover to cover, but then I started flipping through it and we get to like, we read Genesis and then Exodus and then we have, I think like two, two days of Leviticus and then we like jump to Psalms. <laughs> um, and then we're like in Proverbs and then Numbers and... You know, so it's not like it's you're not just gonna like pick up the Bible and like read it cover to cover. This from what like what this book is um having us do, which that's fine to me. Um, but for the first week, we are all in Genesis, Genesis 1 through 21 is what we're reading. Um, and I'll post like the daily kind of like calendar or whatever. Um, like day one, it's chapters one through four. Um, and so I'll post that in the description just so it's like easier for you to think about, oh my goodness, I have to read 21 chapters. It's like not that intimidating. Um, so yeah, I hope that you find this encouraging. I hope that, I hope this is for you. I, I don't know. I just, the Lord didn't give me a specific vision of who this was supposed to be for, um, it's just for his kids. So I want to end in a word of prayer. And I hope that you come back on Sunday to talk about what we read in the first week. So God, I just, I thank you so much for this opportunity. God, that you've given me a phone to record myself, to post on YouTube, to hopefully reach someone that you're wanting to speak to. Um... I'm thankful that you gave me a desire to share what you're teaching me in my life. And I'm thankful just for the simple fact that you are teaching me something. Um, that you're speaking to me and you are continuously pouring into my life and giving me the ability to pour into other people's lives. Um, God, I pray for whoever is watching this video. I pray that they will receive the blessings that you want to pour out onto their life, God. And that they will recognize that this is just to live life together, even if we have no idea who we, who the other person is, God. That you have given us the ability to communicate through social media. And social media doesn't have to be all life-taking, but it can be life-giving if we use it in the right heart and the right motives, God. Um, so yeah, I just thank you so much for all that you do for us, and I pray that you bless this time, and that it will all be done in your name. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Y'all have a blessed week, and I hope that you come back on Sunday. Bye!